Hi guys, welcome to another life guide from Artem Hawk's Dumb, presenting ADHD by ADHD. If you're new to my channel, why don't you consider subscribing? If you're a fresh graduate looking for his or her first job, or if you're a bit older and have just recently found out you have ADHD, you've come to the right place. If you're not sure you have ADHD, please watch my video on how to quickly identify for yourself before continuing so you don't waste your precious time. Today, we're going to go through the most suitable and fruitful jobs for people like us. Now before we start, it's important to note that due to our general attributes, such as being easily distracted by normal daily activities, being less organized, and being able to hyper-focus on certain activities that pique our interest, there's a specific array of job requirements that fit our brain profile. In the following, we will go through all the important criteria you should consider before hitting send on that job application. Towards the end, I'll even talk about my current job and how these criteria fit into that. So first, pick something that is of interest to you. Now this holds true for anyone, but especially for people like us. This is because, as previously mentioned, we are difficult to motivate for things that don't spark our interest, making it a lot harder to get up and go to work in the morning. By the way, if you need motivation, check out my ADHD motivation video featuring Will Smith. Anyway. As I was saying, you need to be passionate and interested in what you do. This will make everything so much easier for you and the people you're working with. And don't get me wrong, things might not only be more manageable for you, but you might even become one of the greats in your field. If you don't know where to start regarding your interest, think about what you're currently doing in your free time. Is it sports? Do you like gaming? Are you more the social type? Do you chill with your friends a lot? Information like this will give you important insights into what your job should look like for you. Take five seconds now to write down the first interest that pops into your mind. Trust me, writing it down makes all the difference. Okay, there's a few jobs out there that require you to be very interest fueled in order to provide an adequate service, which are perfect for you if you hold a deep interest in the subject matter. An example here would be a fitness coach. A fitness coach has to be motivated 24-7, or at least every time he provides classes, right? Because he has to motivate his class takers. Imagine having a fitness coach that doesn't motivate you. You're not going to want to pay him anything. So people like us actually have the advantage of being able to foster this 24-7 level of motivation for something to a higher degree due to our ability to engage into our passions to 150% if we really want to. Secondly, try yourself at something creative. Okay, you and me, we both know that we're creative. Let's be honest, you and I both know that moment when people just look at us in complete and utter confusion etched across their face when bringing up some random idea that just flew out of our brains. What? Creativity is one of the many disproportionate strengths of an ADHD brain. I mean, look at me. I'm making random YouTube videos with some random animated dude called Bob. I can literally call myself a creator. And you can't be a creator without being creative. I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but this is something we have to just accept for ourselves. Because our brain works different to normal brains, we tend to not have the same thoughts as normal people. Makes sense, right? And this can, yes, lead us to be considered a social outsider for non-ADHDers, but also opens up a different world, one of which people can enjoy and profit from. So try yourself at becoming a YouTuber, or a painter, or an actor. These are all jobs which could fulfill you if you stay consistent and self-disciplined. This leads me to my next point. Consider becoming a paid risk taker. I know, my parents told me the same story. Become an employee, play the risk averse game, and let other people pay you a steady monthly income. I'm not gonna lie, this is what I currently do. I'm currently employed full time and work on these videos on my weekend, when I find the motivation to. I want to build up a steady base for myself before thinking of throwing in the towel at work and completely dedicating myself to something like this YouTube channel. So yes, being a risk taker can mean becoming a self-sufficient entrepreneur. If you think you have what it takes, go for it. People with ADHD can thrive as entrepreneurs. Some famous entrepreneurs with ADHD include the founder of The Virgin Group, Richard Branson, 
and the likes of the founder of IKEA. If you are a risk taker, but still like to enjoy the comfort of a steady income stream, consider jobs that pay off risk taking with high commission structures. Such jobs can help keep your motivation up as we need short term goals to stay motivated. Perhaps you want to aim even higher and become a race car driver or an airplane pilot. Overall, we just experience less of a hurdle when needing to take risks, something that other people generally have a harder time doing. The less people that would do something, the higher usually the pay. So why not capitalize on our risk-taking strength? Constant adaptation. Do you always look for something new and get bored as soon as you've mastered that one once new thing? If so, pay close attention to this category. We thrive in work environments that constantly change and force us to quickly adapt, learn new ways and respond differently. This is because we quite easily get bored of the same old routine. Lucky for us, there are lots of high paying jobs that look for people that have this ability. Because yeah, you guessed it, lots of people don't. Feel positively special yet? Jobs where you have to adapt to new clients, such as in sales, or take on entirely new projects monthly, such as in consulting, can keep us interested and therefore grant us the potential to really make something out of our professional lives, rather than having the goal of just surviving the week. Other job examples complementing this ability include becoming a nurse, a doctor or surgeon, a firefighter or a school teacher. Last but not least, check if you're applying to a job that grants you the right amount of intensity. This is a special one where we are known to excel in hectic and fast-paced environments that force us to think and act quickly. Occupations such as being a police officer or an emergency dispatcher all require people with a love for high intensity. If you've ever been in a dangerous situation and were the only one to respond quickly enough, perhaps you should look for a job complementing that ADHD ability. Lastly, because of our inherent difficulty to keep a structured life, Jobs that grant us this structure can not only be the right fit for you, but can also keep you on track with your life, both professionally and personally. Extreme jobs, from enrolling in the military to less extreme examples like becoming an accountant, might just be for you. This is because we often thrive in environments where we get clear instructions and directives. Not having work-related goals or deadlines can be disastrous for everyone involved, as we will most likely never get anything done this way. We are masters of procrastination when we don't know for when something should be done. Take this video for example. I kept on putting it off right up until I told myself I will get this video done this month January and I will do the script and editing on Saturday. All of a sudden I had a specified task to complete making it so much easier to motivate myself for it. Jobs that grant you this luxury, even though most people might hate it, might just be the solution to your disorganization. So, those were the criteria that you should look out for when applying for a job. I was able to regard these criteria when looking out for my first job, which is in sales. It keeps me motivated as it grants me short-term goals. The environment is fast changing as I always get to talk with different kinds of people, which also keeps it interesting by the way. And it's really fast paced. I have to react to certain things within the span of seconds if I want to close the sale. To round it all off, I've always been really fascinated by human psychology and since sales literally requires an in-depth understanding of people, this pretty much complements my interests as well. So that's my story. What about yours? If you've got an idea about what you want to do, I would really appreciate you writing it down below into the comments. I reply to every single one and perhaps you might help a few people discover their path. Also, if this video was able to help you in perhaps finding that one thing that will get you up in the morning, why don't you consider subscribing and leaving a like so you don't miss out on any more ADHD life guides helping you live an amazing ADHD driven life. It's like the great Zac Efron said, we're all in this together and I hope I was able to help you today. If you need some motivation on getting started on those applications, check out my ADHD motivation video featuring Will Smith. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, guys.